Everybody around me thought, you should be happy. You have all this stuff, like, how could you be depressed? How could you, um, you know, be so empty and, and kind of lonely, even though I had so many things around me? I'm Emily Godsey, and I'm a registered nurse. I have been a nurse for about 12 years. I grew up in Tyler, Texas, and um, I had a great family, a great upbringing. My parents were wonderful and, and they took me to church every Sunday and every Wednesday and um, I just had a I, I feel a pretty easy life you know I was well respected as a nurse I worked in the emergency room I worked on the floor of the hospital and um, I received a Daisy Award and that's a, a huge accomplishment you know and that and, and I thought man that this I should feel so much joy from this and and I didn't This is my happy place, and it's just somewhere I can come, and it just makes me smile. I love the colors, and um, I come in here with my kids sometimes, and we'll just spend time together and make um, a picture or something, and, and it just, it really makes me happy. And this room was actually a closet, and so I feel like it was, it was made for me. <laughs> These were shoes, racks, and it was just waiting on me to have my little safe space. <laughs> when I get a hobby, I get a hobby. <laughs> I started um, taking pain medicine that was legitimately given to me from a doctor, which so many people start their addiction that way. Um, and it just progressed because it was numbing at first. It was numbing the feelings of emptiness and loneliness. And, and I didn't have to face that. I didn't have to worry about that. I would kind of just got through. I'm just gonna get through the day. I'm gonna get through the week. So here I am, a mother, a wife, a daughter, a nurse, um, and an addict. It all came to a crash and it was just like, this is what, you know, everyone knew. My family found out, um, you know, every, all, every one of my friends, and I mean, it wasn't, it just kind of came out when, when it all came crashing down. and. Um, you know, here I am facing losing my husband, facing losing my kids, facing my family. You know, I was facing losing my, my nursing license. Um, I definitely lost my job at the time. Um, I thought I'm never going to be a nurse again. I'm never uh, going to be able to recover from this, you know, and that was the moment that it was um, my rock bottom and it was either take my life or surrender my life to something greater and you know I, I just can't imagine leaving my kids here and my husband and so I I chose to surrender you know and I chose to give up control of the everything that I tried so hard to control my whole life I remember sitting there thinking you know Maybe I'm not supposed to be a nurse. Maybe I'm not meant to be, you know, but God, whatever you want me to be, I want to be that. He started changing my life in ways that I never thought he could. And he started restoring just little by little, you know, and he showed me he was there and he showed me that he has a purpose for this. And I thought, there's no way there's a purpose for this. How can there be a purpose for someone who did this? And, you know, it, it was just crazy because God said, I'm going to use this. And I trusted him and I said, okay, well, let's go. You know, now I've been able to, keep, I've been six years sober and I am the nursing director of a drug and alcohol rehab. And every day I get to share my story. Every day I get to share where I was and where I am now. And that's all because of God. And that's all because I gave up. And that's part of the 12-step the program is realizing uh, that you can't handle it, that you're not in control. And once I realized that, you know, the next step is I can't, but God can, and I'm going to let it. And all my life you have been faithful And all my so, so good yeah. With every breath that I am able Oh, I'm gonna sing 
of the goodness of God. Oh, I'm gonna sing of the goodness of God. Okay, so just that little, yeah. <laughs> okay.